we're at Cinnamon Lake, grouse hunting, and hunting woodcock, and there's this, this beaver pond down there. I'll tell you what, I'm tempted to come down here and go camping. It's, it's very beautiful. It is, it's very beautiful. Nobody's ever down here. And there's lots of Sasquatch activity. And I think if we came down here and hung out at night in a tent with a loaded shotgun to protect ourselves from the highly sexually active Sasquatch, we could probably get him on film doing some of his fucking crazy hijinks. They're, they're a nasty animal. They are a nasty animal, so I think that's the plan. We'll come down here with a tent, get Sasquatch either on camera or I'll shoot him. Either way, I can prove Sasquatch exists. I know he exists. He's, the, the creature's been on my property many times, grouse hunting with Tonka and Ike. And as you see over my shoulder, you know what that is, right? That's clearly a Bigfoot structure. Sasquatch is in the area. I can sense it. He's around. It's around. There's something moving down there. It's real big. Look at Tonka. He's fucking flipped out. He's gonna go get it. Good, Kane. I smell. I smell Sasquatch. He's in the area. Tonka here. No, here. Dogs are probably drinking out of the same water Sasquatch drinks out of. It's a filthy animal. I probably have to worm I can Tonka both. It's a well-known fact that Bigfoots have tapeworms, whipworms, every kind of worm that you could you know, they, they like to eat earthworms. That's a well-known fact. See this trail cam over my shoulder right there? That's the trail cam that caught Bigfoot masturbating at night. I'm not a bull, bullshit researcher. I'm the only Bigfoot researcher that you should listen to. I have all the facts and I have all the proof that Bigfoot and Sasquatch exist. Check out this orange salamander. That's pretty. That's beautiful, look at him. It's mound behind me. That's what they do with their dead. They bury their dead. If we, if I dug this up, all these rocks and shit, we'd find a Sasquatch body under it, and I just might. I'm gonna go home, get a shovel, dig up two tons of dirt to find that fucking carcass to prove Sasquatch, they bury their dead. That's why we're not seeing the dead bodies. They cover them in rocks, piles of rocks like this. Check it out. See this mound here? All these rocks? They didn't naturally get here. They didn't. This is a Sasquatch burial mound. They're all over this area. Cornell's coming out here to excavate. We'll probably find a fucking carcass of a Sasquatch. You know, I smell Sasquatch cane. That mound right up by Tonka. That's probably, it's smaller, so it's probably for a uh, cub that passed away and they buried it. It's on their way out to start excavation on this site. The lead investigator of the Sasquatch res research at Cornell University, Dr. Dirk Johnstonson. Can check with him. I'm not. I'm not bullshitting anybody. This is real. It's a real creature. They live on this planet. They do, and they're dangerous, and they're highly sexual. If you find one in the woods, be you better have a gun because they will bend you over a tree stump and cornhole you. It's a fact. Be very careful walking through the woods. My phone out, but we saw three Sasquatch tear up this hill. And then I've been hearing shots fired. So I'm assuming that somebody's going after them, which they should. They should eradicate this creature. Okay, now there, here's a huge burial mound. This would be typical of the size of a burial mound of like the Sasquatch King and Queen. See how big it is? This is huge. 
it's at least 50 feet. Notice how it's all rocks and stuff. That's what they use. They, they cover it in rocks so that nobody wants to disturb it. This might be the whole Sasquatch royal family here. See this? Cornell University is on its way out, like I said, and this is quite the find. This will probably be written up as the Sasquatch find of the century. We will have bones now to prove of his existence, their existence, he and she. They also have hermaphrodite Sasquatches. Look at all this. This is all stones that have been placed here. This isn't natural rock formation. This is placed here by Sasquatch. This is probably the largest Sasquatch burial mounds in the world. Ike, you worried about the Sasquatch? Uh, not really, Kane. Right here we have more rusty metal and we'll find this in Sasquatch hotspots and it's barbed wire. And the, the Sasquatch love rusty metal they, they like iron. They need more iron than us. So like other animals will lick salt blocks, the Sasquatch will lick rusty metal. And in this case, it's barbed wire. And it's a well-known fact in Sasquatch research that the Bigfoot will use rusty barbed wire to like floss their teeth with. They don't have normal teeth. They don't. It's much stronger than any other animal on this planet. The Sasquatch is a fucking unusual creature. Very unusual. There's another pile of rocks. I'm sure that there's a Sasquatch corpse underneath that one too. We're all over this area. And you see these trees that were down? They didn't naturally fall. That's a Sasquatch pushing them over. It's a warning to not disturb this Sasquatch cemetery. See that mound down there? See that one right there? See this tree? See that? That's Sasquatch. You know, that was not cut. That is a Sasquatch pushing this tree down. See this old path here? This is a Sasquatch path. You know, we, we are literally miles and miles from a road. And a Sasquatch is the only animal big enough to create this path. I'm sure we'll find some footprints here real soon. Dogs are freaked out. We heard a lot of noises, like the tonk had taken a dump. He always does that when Sasquatch is around. That's a sign. And we, we heard something like rocks being smacked together, large trees falling. I'm not sure I know where we are. I'm a little bit worried. Ike's right here. This will protect me, but I do have a gun. I'm gonna try and shoot Sasquatch. If I kill him, I'm gonna have him taxidermied, or maybe put it in a big jar of formaldehyde. Travel the world with that motherfucker. Everybody will see the glorious Bigfoot in a big jar. I'll show that motherfucker. Beating off on my property and shit? No, that's gonna end. I didn't see any grouse or woodcock today. However, Tonka did find a weed plant that looks like somebody's about ready to harvest. Of course, we left it. I'd never steal anybody's weed plant. That's bad karma. That's one thing that Tonka, that's another thing Tonka can find, is weed. I taught him that. You can teach your dog to sniff out anything, really. They can sniff out cancer. Tonka could. He's got a hell of a nose.